Gaming is becoming a thing only for the rich people. I still feel very privileged, but things are getting out of hand. Soon, I might not be able to afford games anymore. Certainly not at day one. The costs for making games is ramping up way too much. Everybody inside the business, inside the industry is telling this. Capcom said this. They say the only solution is to increase the price. Gee, thanks. I say the only solution is to lower the costs for making AAA video games. You see, back in the 80s, 90s, video game was still kind of a niche thing. So even if a, 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 a game didn't set the world on fire, it, it wouldn't be such a huge loss. In turn, this will mean that uh, developers were more inclined to experiment, but today experimentation is only reserved for indie. The indie games are the only affordable games today. But the AAA games, like, I don't know, Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, any new game. And this is the thing, prices are ramping up now across the board, not just single games, but also uh, the subscription fees for PlayStation Plus. Boosted, boosted way too much in price. And I don't like it. I unsubscribed, I don't want to have anything to do with that. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. But even even the Game Pass, Phil Spencer confirmed, it's inevitable for Game Pass to rise in price as well. I'm, I will not be able to to pay that. I will not be able to buy a new game 80 bucks on day one. I will not be able to directly support the gaming company that I want to support because they do my favorite video games. And this is a pity, because the only way that I can play video games now with the Game Pass as well gone from my uh, spectrum of possibilities is to buy used games one year, two years after they released. And this way I will not be able to support my favorite gaming company or publisher or whatever. This will turn into a vicious circle and companies will not like that anyway. Because guess what? If gaming becomes a thing of the rich, exclusively for the rich, Guess what? Rich is the minority of population. You don't say! So this will explode. This is just a balloon ready to explode. And nobody will like that when it will explode. Because going this way, keep pumping air into the balloon, it will explode. Tons of gaming studios have been closed, shut down. Because their game bomb. It's a pity. Even Epic Games. They had Fortnite, they have Unreal Engine, they only recently uh, had to fire, I think, roughly 900 people. Oh really? <sighs> that sucks. I mean, it's Epic Games, it's, it's, it's big. And still they need to reduce costs by firing people because costs for producing games are getting way out of hand. It's tough. It's tough for everybody, it's tough not only for the industry, but for, for we are the ultimate destination for these video games. We, the players, we, the gamers, we, the buyers. So my solution is, let's not expect a game to be released in three years. If you really need to, to reduce something, let's reduce the crunch. Start developing a game earlier, make the announcement later. I mean, at the most reasonable time, you need to create the hype, of course. I mean, if the costs for producing the game are too much, let me wait for it a little longer. Let's spread the time of development more. This might not work, but it, it's something. I mean, we can't be the one that pays for it all. $80 is already much, and they want to increase the prices even more. I can't choose between feeding my family and having to buy a video game. Because of course I will not choose I will choose not to buy the video game. No! I already have a ton, so I can keep on uh, technically I have more video games than what I can play in a lifetime. It's the passion that keeps driving me in buying video games. But not at this price. But this is coming to that. I need to sell a kidney to, to, to be able to, to, to afford video gaming in the future. Literally, it's becoming a thing only for the rich and I can't stand that.
Only indie games and retro games are the ones that are actually affordable. There are some indie games that are far, far better in quality than many of the AAA games. So really go indie, go indie, go, go, go indie, go indie, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. And of course buying a game after some time is not the same as buying it on day one for the companies because the decision on, on making maybe a sequel or if that direction is good for them is, is producing money is done within the first month of release. Those are the hard data that matters to them. So that's why for them it's very important that, that we buy games on day one. But they are making it so hard for us. Like, literally, it's as if we're playing a game. Buy your game on day one if you can. 90 bucks. Buy it if you can. You can? Well then, 100 bucks. No, this can't go on forever, can it? But this of course would not be good for the industry. But why do we need to fix the industry? They need to find the balance. They need to spread the development a little more evenly. They need to stop crunching people. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts. What do you think could be a solution for um, resolving this issue of the costs ramping up for video games in a way that doesn't hurt us, the final consumers, in the end. Because increasing the price even further will hurt us, will hurt, will hurt our wallet. My wallet doesn't uh, like to be hurt. <laughs> so, <laughs> so guys, let me know what you think about it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the video and share it around. Uh, with your fellow gamers uh, if you think this video might interest them. I think this is a very interesting topic and I will surely look forward to see what you have to say in the comment section. But this will wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video but until then stay safe, play safe world gamers. <laughs>